Hello, everyone, and welcome. You can sense it through the pageantry, the tradition, the electricity that permeates this place as we get set for a terrific game. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. All right, guys, here's our first look at this offense today. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese, and it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. Now on second down. The gift to the back. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Third down, and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving. Wide receiver shows motion. Robinson will throw. Quick strike complete. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Well, that's one the DB, I think, would like to have back. Out route, he was in man coverage. If he could have just got out of his break a little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the marker, it's Smith. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. Yeah, and I, you gotta love those matchups. When you get a running back matched up on somebody else, it's never gonna be a cornerback. That's not gonna happen. So finding a good matchup, getting that speed isolated, now I'm gonna go attack and make some plays. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. They get him down at the 34-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup and a first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. Power football with the run. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Robinson looking to pass. 
Just a short pass to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. The analytics nerds say the goal was at least four yards on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Grabs it in the middle. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. When you play zone coverage, you got a wide receiver that's a beast. It becomes very, very difficult. I've got to make sure I play physical and maybe even shade the side of the wide receiver having a lot of success. First and goal for the offense. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. As they come to the line, they've moved it, but they need one more yard on third down. Motion from the offense. Slams ahead. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. And everything works out for the offense, right? They went for it on fourth and one earlier. It was a big decision, a big gamble. They got it, and now you pay it off with the touchdown. Head coach is loving that. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7 0 to start this one. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one yard plunge. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. One thing to keep an eye on in this game, when they get a back isolated on a linebacker, who wins that matchup? The quarterback likes the matchup, but this linebacker, he's different, man. Not only is he a hitter, he's got the athleticism to cover people, too. Normally you say that's a win for the running back. A running back and a linebacker, I win. But this guy is different. Interested to watch this matchup. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. Fires to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. you got to get him involved. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
Well, one of the reasons this offense likes the option game with the quarterback is to use his speed and try to attack the perimeter of the field. The defense, though, not having any of it. You saw the contain on the play, forcing him back in the middle of the field, and they're able to corral him for a huge loss. He's looking for an open man on second down. Using the quick game. They make the stop right there. Good pickup and still short of the first down. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. Off play action. Looking left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting on this block, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Back to the ground with the running back. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. It's first and 10 from the 13. He's going to pass. He's got it down the middle. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but you've got to give the quarterback credit to the location of the throw because he put it out in front of his big man. He was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Using his feet. Into their happy place for a touchdown. Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front. They were physical. Skill players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last drive. Ready to try the point after. Right down the middle. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The give to the single back. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. 
got to wonder if that's a moral victory for this offensive line because they have not been running the ball well at all all game long. But on that short yardage situation, they finally pick it up, and maybe that's going to be the catalyst for them to get this thing going and spark the run game. Now on first down from the 30. Smith takes the handoff. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Robinson will throw. Finds his big tight end. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. They saw that blitz coming, and the way to get out of it is find the tight end. Yeah, how quick did he see that, too? Sees the blitz, understands this is a matchup where I got my big tight end, the big fella I trust. I'm going to find that matchup, get him the football for the first down. They go to the ground. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time they attack the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? you got to be expecting that they're going to try and tack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. He'll come out throwing on first down. Caught over the middle. It's McNeil. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, running back gets the give. Blast his way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. Wide receiver coming across in motion. And he throws down the gut of the defense. It's incomplete. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. It's good. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. goal drive they're set to kick it away and he takes this from inside the five he was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18 on first down here comes this offense they'll leave it with him they knock him down but not before he gets it out to the 21 yard line pick up a four small game I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. He makes a catch. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He unleashed that one. Some serious spin rates and revolutions on that one. <laughs> Want to talk about velocity? How about the arm talent this kid has? I love watching him throw these curl routes. He's in rhythm. He takes his steps. And, man, when he decides to pull the trigger, watch out. They'll throw it on first down. 
Looking down the middle. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Yeah, that was a good play on the ball, getting his hand up and getting the tip, get the deflection. The ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground. Incomplete pass. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He's back to throw on second down. Makes the grab down the middle. The defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. They get suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle from us. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Allen. Defense gonna use a timeout, can't afford to have any confusion on the call here. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was, but now fourth down, offense has to make a decision. He's brought down, but there's also a penalty marker down. Let's see what this is about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Bounds into the end zone for a touchdown. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. Finds a tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? That's why the good Lord invented tight ends, isn't it, David? Get a good pickup on first down, open up the entire playbook. And it just makes life so easy on quarterbacks. I mean, you got these guys that are so gifted athletically that you can do everything with them. They're like overgrown wide receivers and now understanding zones and how to attack them. It's just... He's got it down the left side. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down into the 35. And you just could not allow that to happen defensively, giving up a big play like that. They're going to need to now play with some sense of urgency if they're not going to give up any points here before the end of the half. They just dialed up one big play. Let's see if they've got another one on first and 10 from the 35. Robinson looking to pass. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come in. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. 
quickly complete. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. QB, excellent location on that throw. Out route against man coverage, you cannot miss. If you throw that behind, that might be a pick six. So nice job by the quarterback with his accuracy. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Pulls it in. It's Smith. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback in his possession. Oops, someone moved just a bit early, and the offense is going to pick up a penalty. False start. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Coming after him. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Ann Arbor. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the big house. Looks as if we're set to crank it up here in the second half. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. Makes his connection. No, oh, he got loose. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. That kind of play will put a jolt into a drive. It's first and 10 from just inside the 40. He'll do it himself. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. You know, this zone replay is something they rep over and over and over in practice. This guy can run it and execute it in his sleep. Good decision there keeping the football. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll give it to the back. He has the first and still on his feet. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. He's looking to throw it. They're working that left side. This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. The noise level is relentless here on second down. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Barry. Tackled after picking up the first down. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion. Nice catch. Now the crowd responding in the red zone, trying to help this defense. To the air on first down. Spits it out to the back. And it's in there for a touchdown. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. 
field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here's the return from inside his 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. They'll try it over the left side. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Holds and fires complete to the right. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Now the play fade. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on your quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Quickly to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. Robinson will throw. Gets it out quickly. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? They bring the punter onto the field now. Finally sending out a punter in this one. Got to make sure they earn their letter. They'll get him corralled and down at about the 19-yard line. Guys, this offense will go back on the attack. Looking to go up top on first down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. Out of the gun, the inside give. On the move at the 30. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get in the space and make the big game.
Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And he might be known for one fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. All right, they got the completion. Don't get the first down. So we've got a massive decision now, fourth and inches. Personally, I like QB sneak. I think that picks it up right here. No matter where you are in the field, you can keep this drive going. Well, if you're going to be checked down, Charlie, you get the completion percentage up, but you don't get the first down, and the punt unit comes on the field. There is a lot of real estate in front of this offense as the ball is touched dead at the five. First and ten from inside their own five. You got to take care of the ball, but there is room to take a shot here. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They're trying to get some breathing room from deep in their own territory. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Now on first and 10 from the 29. To the ground with the back. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. You got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. Fires to the big fella. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Wide out in motion. On third down, going up top. Got his man quickly. At midfield, he's got room. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Robinson looking to pass. Finds his tight end. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. 
That throw and catch a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. They'll throw it on first down. Release to the back. Grab near the marker. It's Smith. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game as him on the doorstep. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives them momentum. They'll try to run it in. Sprints into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, get you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they can lose this ball game. They'll go for two here and try to climb within a field goal late. On the option. He is denied. No good on the two-point try, and the lead remains at five. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's coming out of the end zone. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. Wide receiver shows motion. He'll start this drive firing. Got his man downfield. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. Pulls it and fires to the left. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off the or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. So after the first down run, here's second down. Fast motion from the offense. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. I'll tell you what, coaches want you to do your best work late in the ball game. He did his best work. Great job taking off. Biggest run of the day after grinding this game out, grinding this game out, makes it explosive. Now trying to put this game in a good situation. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Matthews. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in the pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great way. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. He's got his man. Putting together a real scoring thread here as they pick up the first down at the 36. And what a big conversion by the offense there. With the lead late, you're just trying to stay on the field and bleed the clock. At this point, it's tick, 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 tick. Let's run this clock down as low as we can before we snap it. 
Moving into scoring territory at the 36 on first down. Quarterback on the keeper. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They're trying to go option. They're trying to put that defensive end in the bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Did a speed bump on that last play. Now work to do on second and 15. Motion from the offense. He wants to throw here on second down. Grabbed behind the line. It's Allen. Right to crease at the 20. And he'll be run out of bounds. And these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Fires to the middle. He makes a grab. Steps into the end zone for a touchdown. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. So an 82-yard drive there. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. Set to advance on the football. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And now this offense will take the field again. Complete with conviction on the crosser. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Looking to move it through the air. And the ball's free in the backfield. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And the defense is able to go out and shut the door. They put the clamps down. They've got a big lead, and with that fumble, they're going to win the game. You've got to give this defense credit for finishing. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eight. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. The run from the shotgun. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. So they'll send out the field goal unit. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. No good. There's a flag on the field, and I think we're going to get another shot at this, and the kicker will be a little bit closer this time. 
you must protect the kicker when he's in a defenseless position like that. That penalty is going to give the offense a first down. With the game in hand, the offense choosing to just have the quarterback take a knee. 